new for you at 6 tonight. A local man is now pain-free after an experimental procedure. Stem cell therapy is being used more and more often in the United States. And some health experts believe it could change modern medicine. NBC2's Kyle Inskeep joins us live in the studio with more on how the procedure changed a valley man's life, Kyle. Tom and Sydney, for Jim Verosco, reaching into his back pocket just like this to grab his wallet, it became an impossible task. But today, after more than six years in excruciating pain, that's not the case. All thanks to a thing I like to call news you can use. Jim Verosco has farmed his entire life. From the time I uh, was big enough to uh, <coughs> start helping out, out on the farm, they kept you busy. The last six years on his Park County farm have been especially tough, though. Jack! Not because of lost cattle or bad crops, but rather a bum shoulder. It was a, quite a nagging pain. Jim was just in a lot of pain all the time. Doctors told Jim and his wife Pam a complete shoulder replacement was the only way to permanently relieve the pain caused by osteoarthritis. I said shoulder replacement. I said that. I thought it was uh, maybe rotator cuff type surgery. His wife had something else in mind. We asked, you know, the surgeons and hospitals and doctors and really they didn't know about stem cell therapy. That's when fate stepped in. She turned to stem cell replacement. Gil Garado has this story. Judith Lure turned to Dr. Dennis Locks, an industry leader in stem cell replacement. I thought this is our referral. This is the referral we're looking for. Pam sent Dana an email asking for Dr. Locks's contact information. One month later, the couple was in Florida preparing for Jim's stem cell replacement procedure. And the rest, as they say, is history. And basically instant relief from that point on. Jim can do all the things that he couldn't do before. Dr. Gabby Wade, a professor at the IU School of Medicine, says stem cell treatments like Jim benefited from are highly experimental at this point. Research is a slow process, and for stem cell research and stem cell therapy, we are only at the very uh, beginning. But it brought an end to one man's excruciating shoulder pain. It's still got a little bit of uh, soreness to it from time to time, but hey, I can do more now than I've done in the last five years. And I saw that firsthand today. Jim told me Dr. Locks took the stem cells from his abdomen for the procedure. He was told to restrict movement for the first few weeks, but after that, it was business as usual back there on the farm. Great story, Kyle. Will Jim now have to have any follow-up treatments or other procedures? That's still up in the air at this time, Tom, but Jim was told more than likely at some point he will need to do a follow-up therapy treatment. Back